A secant line intersects the curve y equals the natural log of x at two points with x coordinates 2 and 2 plus h. What is the slope of the secant line? Well, they're giving us two points on this line. It might not be immediately obvious, but they're giving us the points when x is equal to 2. When x is equal to 2, what is y? Well, y, they tell us, y is equal to the natural log of x. So in this case, it is going to be the natural log of 2. And when x is equal to 2 plus h, what is y? Well, y is always going to be the natural log of whatever x is. So it's going to be the natural log of 2 plus h. And so these are two points that sit on the secant line. This happens to be where the secant line intersects our curve. But these are two points on the line. And if you know two points on a line, you will then be able to figure out the slope of that line. And we can just remind ourselves that a slope is just change in y over change in x. And so what is this going to be? Well, if we view the second one as our endpoint, our change in y going from ln of 2 to ln of 2 plus h, so our change in y is going to be our endpoint, so natural log of 2 plus h minus our starting point, or our end y value minus our starting y value, natural log of 2. And then our change in x, our change in x is going to be our ending, our ending x value, 2 plus h, minus our starting x value, minus 2. And of course, these 2's cancel out. And if we look here, it looks like we have a choice that directly matches what we just wrote. Uh, this right over here, natural log of 2 plus h minus natural log of 2 over h. Now if you want to visualize this any, a little bit more, we could, we, could draw, we could draw a little bit. I'm going to clear this out so I have space to draw the graph. Just so you can vi really visualize that this is a secant line. So let me draw my y-axis. And let me draw my x-axis. And y equals the natural log of x is going to look, so, so let me underline that. That is going to look something like this. I'm obviously hand drawing it, so not, not a great drawing right over here. And so when, when we have, so we have the point 2 comma natural log of 2, which would be, let's say it's over so if this, is, if this is 2, then this right over here is the natural log of 2. So that's the point 2 comma natural log of 2. And then we have some other, we just know it in the abstract, 2 plus h. So it's 2 plus something. So let's say that is 2 plus h. And so this is going to be the point where we sit on the graph. That's going to be 2 plus h comma the natural log of 2 plus h. And the exercise that we just did is finding the slope of the line that connects these two. So the line will look something like will look something like that. And the way that we did this is we figured out, okay, well what is our change in y? So our change in so let's see, we are going from y equals natural log of 2 to y equals natural log of 2 plus h. So our change in y our change in y is our natural log of 2 plus h minus natural log of 2. Minus natural log of 2. And our change in x, well, we're going from 2 to 2 plus h. We're going from 2 to 2 plus h. So our change in x, we just increased by h. We're going from 2 to 2 plus h. So our change in x is equal to h. So the slope of the secant line. The slope of this secant line, it's secant, it intersects our graph in two points, is going to be change in y over change in x, which is once again exactly what we have over there.